Hey, what's going on everyone out there? I'm Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to this brand new JJ's First Look. We are playing Star Wars Rebel Assault 2 on the PlayStation 5. Obviously, this is from PlayStation Plus Premium that it's the PlayStation 1 version of this game. There's also a PC version of it. But Rebel Assault, it's classic for a lot of people. And it was on PC, it was on PlayStation 1. And I figured, you know what? Why not dive into it with all of you guys? Because... This is a game that a lot of people go back to as being like one of the first like FMV slash uh, action packed games for Star Wars on consoles. Besides, obviously, the Super Nintendo and obviously the NES. But this is the one where it's like, okay, we got like full motion video. Besides what we got going on on PC for home consoles, this was dope. So let's go right from the beginning and just go straight through as far as we can within the video. Hopefully like 30, 40 minutes, maybe longer than that. See, we could just get through it. Okay. But uh, one thing I do have to say is that the actual video sound because of the music i had to lower it which is annoying because of copyright with youtube but either way though regardless let me know your thoughts about star wars rebel assault 2 down below in the comments leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so because there's a lot of videos like this gameplay related and otherwise that's related to star wars games and other types of games as well so if you don't know anything about Rebel Salt, just overall, Rebel Salt um, takes place between episode four and five, I want to say, give or take. And I know that the audio is a little bit low, but again, they play Star Wars music in the background, so YouTube automatically pings it if I let it like go all the way up. But the sound for the game itself will be a lot higher. It's just I had to minimize the music. I hate doing that because part of the Star Wars experience is music, which is annoying, but let's get right into this. Okay, we got a dude. He's riding his B-Wing. He's getting uh, pursued by TIE Fighters. Here we go. It's B-Wing time. Let's do this. Let's do this. It's B-Wing time. Here come enemy fighters. It's about to go down. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Got to get a little bit smooth there. Got him there. Uh, got him there. The thing is, there's no ridicule, really. Or it's like, it's really, like, faint to see. But we got these fools. Well, wait, there goes another one. And we got them there. There goes another one. Now, funny enough, the, the freaking frame rate for this, because it's a PlayStation 1 game, it gets pretty, pretty messy. Damn, come here. Come here. See, look at that. Just aiming is such a pain in the ass. This is why this game was so tough for a lot of people. Like, the aiming is, like, really rough. Look at that. I'm trying to aim there. I don't know if there's, like, an actual ridicule that I could maybe get onto here. Or you just have to just wing it. Because it's been years since i played this. There's go. Get these enemy fighters. We almost got a couple more, and then we got them. Gotta be very careful. Even on the easiest difficulty setting with this, this thing can get to, like, pretty pretty difficult and again it's just by design we got one more one more aim it. come on aim right down there aiming my god got him there's another one yeah homeboy over here what, what you doing no to get this last fool this last fool over here damn it i'm gonna miss my god, Let, let's see. Is there like... Oh, there's no options. So we just gotta wing it. We just gotta do it. <laughs> we just gotta get it done. <laughs> Whoops. I don't wanna hit my teammate. This is our teammate. We got enemy fighters down. I don't think we destroyed everybody. We destroyed a bunch of them, though. We missed a few, but it doesn't matter. We got them. B-Wings are actually cool ships in Star Wars. Let's be real. When they were first shown in Return of the Jedi, they were pretty awesome. See, accuracy is 75%. I don't even care about the accuracy. I know you're supposed to get, like, bonus lives for, like, 100% accuracy. But still, no, doesn't matter. We're over here. We're here to blast TIE Fighters. Doesn't matter if we're that accurate. As long as we get them all. <laughs> that's what matters. Mm. Anyway, we're over this plane. Look at, look at this, like, again, 1996. Uh, what is it? I guess you could say, like, home homebrew Star Wars uh, rebel, rebel pilot <laughs> uh, outfit. 
Because he's got, like, the red five outfit for the B-Wing. Technically. Oh, man. He's getting shot down. No. No. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> oh, my God. And, like, this dude, he looks like a B-Wing pilot. Or he looks like Green Squadron. I don't know if it's... You got you to gotta correct me in the in the comments about that. Like, the specific colors for the specific squadrons. Because I think Gold Squadron is obviously the Y-Wings. Those guys got gold helmets and stuff. Look at that. Destroyed his B-Wing. Skate pod. Homeboy's getting shot at by a tie. What is it? I think that's a tie defender. Oh, no. He got shot down. <laughs> he got shot down completely. This man was done. The Corellia Star. Okay. All right. We're out here on Corellia. We're tattooing. Nah, I forgot which planet they said, but look at the, look at this 1996 green screen. You can even see the pixels around my man. Look at him. <laughs> look at that green screen. This is what YouTube was doing years ago and at home. My man's got his own little little tracker going. Look at the look at the green screen like highlights on the stormtroopers. <laughs> look at this. They were thinking like, yeah, this is good, guys. Let's just put some green lights in the background. And it won't matter. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, man. And, uh, here we go. We're shooting out. We're shooting stormtroopers now. Look at my man green screen walking in like he's the hot stuff. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at the green highlight. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. We got to take out stormtroopers now. We got to take out some stormtroopers. I'm trying to get that guy in the face. Where is he? No, damn it. Come on. Get accurate here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. We got him. We got him. We blasted him. Let's keep him moving. Let's keep him moving out here. The rebellion doesn't wait for nobody. <laughs> okay, here we go. Who, want, who wants these hands? Oh, my God. Accuracy. Come on. Accuracy. Come on. Where's this fool over here? Where is he? Nope. Oh my god, it's like so slippery. Oh my god, no, come on, get there we go. Let's get this fool right here. Where is he? Come on, come on, come on out, come on out. Yeah. Yeah, we got him. We got him. We took him down. We pressed him. <laughs> Man, playing this on PlayStation 5 is surreal. I mean, because they got a little bit of the upscaling and a little bit of the polish from the, the backwards compatibility stuff. Oh my God, there goes these fools. Come on, get there, get this fool right here. Where is he? Oh my God, I tried. Look at it, he's right, right. Come on, the ridicule's right there. The ridicule is right. Oh my God. Come on, a little bit more. Oh my God, get get this fool. Oh, okay, let's get this fool right here. Come here, come here. Where is he? Where is he? Come on, come on, come on. And pop out for me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we got him. More green screen highlights. The Empire's got a lot of green lights in their facility. <laughs> oh, man. Here comes a freighter. Check it out. We got a little first person action. Man's lurking. He's lurking through this Imperial facility. And what is that? It's the not Millennium Falcon ship. It's a Corellian YT-100 freighter. That's right. We got the not Millennium Falcon. It's a totally different ship, guys. Just believe me. Just don't worry about it. Roll with it. <laughs> oh, man. I wish they would have gotten the model of the Outrider by this time because this was 96. I think they were still making Shadows of the Empire. But it would have made more sense to have that type of model of ship of a YT-100 freighter instead of the Falcon. But it's just like, oh, my God, I'm riding the Millennium Falcon. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> it's the not millennium falcon <laughs> oh my god chapter complete five percent accuracy yes that's what we're doing out here <laughs> yeah. that five percent accuracy all right so we're in the mining tunnel so we gotta actually ride this uh this uh ship through the tunnels now again the 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 freaking control and just the visuals overall for whoa for this ship in the game in general is very very like banged up because like even you could see like I'm just like moving around at like a weird pace and just it's very hard to keep the whoa go down no 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 go down no no we want to go downward there we go 
forgot it's inverted controls for the ship. Let's go this way. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, whoa. Damn, it's just so... So devastating. Whoa. Oh my god. Watch, I'm gonna end up crashing. I'm gonna end up crashing, because look at this. Look at, like, I'm trying to keep it steady, and it's just like, it's moving around constantly. Like, the game purposely does that. It's annoying. Because it's like, what are you doing? Whoa. Whoa, no, 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 oh my god, there goes my shield. No, no. Is that, we're gonna have to do it all over again. No, no, let's go. Oh, yep. I just got crashed. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen because it's like it's so dark. It's annoying to control this thing. Look at that. It's hard to see it. Let's go up this way. Oh, no, no. Whoa, whoa. Again, for the record, like there are moments where I'm not even moving the, the stick and the ship is moving. It's really annoying because it's so like janky. Janky controls back in 96 on the PlayStation. Nope. Back, no, 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 no. Don't do that. No. Go to the other side. No. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go downward. No. We just got to do this. Oh. Whoa, God. No. Go upward. Damn. It's just like, it's just like super sensitive and it's just like, look, not even moving and it's going upward. Like, what are you doing? And that's not my controller. Like, some people be like, well, maybe you got drag on your controller. Like, actually, no. Oh my god, no! Oh! Okay, there we go. Whoa! So janky. So janky. No, 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 whoa, don't. Stop moving on the edge. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. Are we good? We should be good now. Yeah, okay, there we go. We're good. Yeah, it's so janky, man. So janky. Man's like doing this like incredible driving at this ship. And then there's more, I bet you. Yep, there's more. I knew it. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we gotta we gotta deal with all this nonsense. Oh my god, no, oh my god, no. And then they reverse the controls on you. Then they reverse the controls, like. Oh my god, no, get this fool. Come on, get... Oh, my God. Ridicule. Get get on. The, there we go. We got him now. Go, geez, no, we got droids. We got droids and we got other things. There we go. We got him. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. The targeting ridicule is weird, but, like, just the drag on it, man. Oh, my God. Okay, we got him. You saw that? Yeah, we got another one. Let's get another one right here. Yes. Yes. Oh, wait. Nope. We got more... More troopers. Oh my god, I couldn't hit that? Oh my god, it's so pixelated. Okay, hold on. This we gotta hit. No, no, hit the... Okay, there we go. Yeah, we gotta hit the doors. There we go. Whoops. There we go. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Whoa, no, no. Oh my god, no. I gotta move the ridicule. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. Like, just trying to move it is like it drags. It takes so long to do that. To get out. Okay, we got out of there. We're good. We're good. The not Millennium Falcon has escaped. <laughs> yeah. Han Solo is going to feel a type of way. I'm just saying, like, once he sees this ship back at the Rebellion headquarters, he's going to be feeling a type of way. Flight errors? Yeah, flight errors. Come on, 20 with the janky controls. Come on now, son. Like, how are you going to do this to me? <laughs> how are you going to do this to me, LucasArts? We have to say LucasArts because this is 96. But then, of course, we have the Empire about to cause problems. And the Super Star Destroyer. This this is uh, in the time frame before Empire Strikes Back. So before the Battle of Hoth. In the time frame, this will be the first time that we see this. And they're reusing... Uh, Empire Strikes Back footage. Of course they would. Of course they would reuse footage of this. Look at it with a different actor. They kind of like splice it together. It's kind of funny. And again, it the volume is low for the game because of the music in the background. The way that the game has it in the options is that the movies, the FMVs, 
all the sound is tied up. So that's all the, the voices, all the audio for the music and stuff. All that is on one slider. So you have to lower it because you have to lower the music for YouTube. So here we go. There goes the Rebellion. Here we, go. we got X-Wings. We got Y-Wings. We're good. We got the boys. They're here. More Y-Wings. And then there's General Admiral Akbar. Or no, was it? Yeah, Admiral Akbar, not General Admiral, but Admiral Akbar, the man or the the, the crawfish himself, <laughs> or the shrimp himself, whatever Akbar species is, the Mon Calamari. This man's got problems. Look at that that poor per, uh, reception, that pixelated nonsense. Look how poor this is, man. This is '96. Like, see, oh, he got blasted. Like, that's what happens when you get poor reception. The Empire doesn't like your poor reception for your holographic calls. <laughs> mm. Look at that. There's already a bunch of peeps in there. We have ladies. We have guys. You know, a lot of diverse stuff even back then. So that's why I can't understand why some people say that Star Wars was never diverse. Look, this is back in 96. Like, and even before then, we had a bunch of people hanging out in the Rebellion. Chapter 4, The Minefields. Okay, here we go. We got mines, people. Check it out. This is Porkins 2.0. <laughs> nah, no, I can't say that. Can't say that. That's mean. Doesn't matter. This is the, the, the Rogue Squadron. Or no, I don't think this is Rogue Squadron, but this is uh, another group. S foils in attack position. You know what this means, people. You know what this means. Gonna start avoiding asteroids. Somebody's getting hit by an asteroid, I'll tell you right now. Look at this. Look at look at the, the quick drive in there. Okay, so we gotta Oh, we got droid stuff. Whoa. I don't know what that is, but I'll get avoiding that like crazy. But, uh, whoa. Avoid all this nonsense. Look at that green screen. Look, look at the green screen on the on the X-Wing. You saw that? You saw that? <laughs> I saw the green highlights on the X-Wing. That's hilarious. Look at that. I can see it again. It was right there. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so funny. Looking back on this now, it's hilarious. Whoop. Got droids or, or some sort of, like, probes. Or not, not probes, but, like, some sort of fighters. Because they're not TIE Fighters. No, they're mines. Okay, no. Those look like mines. And they had the, the, the asteroid field music playing, by the way. That's why, one of the reasons I gotta minimize the sound for the music. Because I love that John Williams music, but YouTube apparently has got a big problem with it. Look at that. We're just kind of driving through all this, all this nonsense. There we go. We got this. Got him. There we go. Yes. We're getting hit by asteroids, but I don't care. We're good. There's another one. Oh, I got one in the back. I didn't even. Re I wasn't even aiming for that. Got mine. We go. We got him. There's another one. Got him. There's another one. Got him. Have to keep moving the ridicule. This was during a time where it's like, okay, they couldn't get you a three third person perspective for the ship, so you have to move your ridicule so it doesn't hit the asteroids. It avoids contact with it, so otherwise your ship, quote-unquote, hits the asteroid. Whoa, whoa. Oh, jeez. So we're going. We got this. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, wait. There was another one. We got him. Whoa. Asteroids. I can't shoot the asteroids, unfortunately. If, if this was any other game, modern day, with uh, X-Wings in this scenario, we would have been able to shoot the asteroids. Yes. Chapter complete. Hmm. 90% accuracy. We'll take it. We'll take that 90% accuracy. We appreciate that. Interceptor attack. Okay, so now we're going to fight some TIE Fighters. Here we go. It's TIE Fighter time. Let's try to get away from these TIE Fighters. Whatever they're... Yep, there they come. They're, oh, they're TIE Interceptors specifically, so that's why they say it. But I thought it was going to be like a mixture, but... We got tie intercept. Oh, look at this. Yes. Come on, come on. Get these fools. Yes. Look at look at this going in between like 60 frames per second and like 10 frames per second. 
Come on, get this, get these fools. Yes. Yes. We get this fool right here. This fool right here. Yes. That's right. Even R2 is like, yo. R2's like hyping you up. He's like, yo, son. Good shooting. Inbound fighters at 1013. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Yes, we got him though. Got his boy. Got his boy. Got his other boy. Got his third boy. Yes. Oh my god, this aiming. This aiming is freaking horrible. Inbound fighters at 1013. But they're getting disintegrated. We got him. Whoops. Right, we got another one. We got another one. Okay, yes. Got a couple more. Couple more. Couple more. I'm pretty sure I I don't think this is uh, based on how many TIE Fighters you take out. I think it's based on timing as far as like how many before the level ends. I think it's based solely on like how long you last in the actual stage. There we go. We got a triple threat right there. There we go. Yes. So many destroyed. Whoop. We got a couple more. Damn. The, the freaking random squadron has got so many TIE Interceptors in it. Yes, we got him. His last one. Wait, no, we missed him. Where's he at? Oh, no, we're good. The boys are good. The boys are good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> the boys are good. We're out of here. Wait, nope. Inbound fighter at 1013. Mm. He's coming right for me. No. Ah. But then my boy shows up right behind him. Blast him. It's over. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody survives. We're good to go. Chapter complete. Yes. 80% accuracy. Not that bad. Again, shouldn't judge too harshly because of the controls. Oh, another a mining facility. Okay. More of these my uh freaking asteroid belt nonsense. More of this nonsense. That Orabesh there. I'm pretty sure like they didn't even like make sure that the Orabesh was accurate back in the day. It would have been a neat detail if they did. I'm just saying. Would have been sweet. But who knows, son? Who knows? So we're going into this facility. Oh, we're gonna go in our ship in this facility. Yes. Okay. Whoa. The hell is that? Oh, I got, I got it there. Got him. So, whoops, 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 whoops. whoops. Hey, I gotta keep. Oh my God! Whoa, so many things. Like the the targeting is so rough, man. How many of those things we gotta shoot, man? And I'm getting hit. I'm not getting hit by the droids or the, the turrets that are there. I'm getting hit by the things that my ship is running into because I'm trying to dodge them. But it's like my ship needs to dodge it in a specific way in order to, in order to avoid damage. And it's just like the targeting and the drag for the, for the aiming is just not allowing for it. Okay, yeah, we gotta keep shooting that. Gotta keep shooting that for the door. Let's see if I can actually get all those things now as we're coming up on it. Okay. Okay, look at that. Like, I'm trying to aim for it. Like, I got the last one I missed there. I missed there because, again, the dragging of the freaking aiming, man. Let's try this again. We got this. This last, uh... Oh, no, we got it? Nope. Gotta get one more. Yeah, there's one more on it. Oh, no, not not on that. I got an extra life. Nice. Got it. Okay, cool. Got to get that last one there. There. Okay, hold on. There's a couple. Oh, come on. How did I miss that? That, that last one. That was nonsense. That was absolute nonsense. Like, let's try this again. We almost got this. Okay, I got I to gotta really shoot that last one there. Okay, we got it. Finally. We got it.
Okay, we got the door to the shaft here. This tunnel that we're going through. We're going to have one. Whoops. Whoa. Whoa. Turrets out of nowhere. The mad turrets. Good thing I can't hit my, my ally here. Because if that was the case, that would have sucked so bad. Like... Damn, I keep running into those things. Like, I'm trying to avoid them, but I'm just getting hit. Like, look at that. Like, the game expects you to just, like, immediately dodge them with, like, how slow this, this, uh, targeting is. Yeah, okay, got him. Got him there. Okay, I gotta destroy all those. Ooh. Oh, no, we got it. Okay, no, we're good. Any other spots here? No, we're good. Oh, we're just... Okay, we were just destroying the core. Nice. We got it. It's mimicking the Death Star. <laughs> mimicking it a little bit. But no matter. It's destroyed. Look at that. That 1996 explosion. That's what we like to see out here. Chapter complete. 70% accuracy. Not that bad. Not that bad. We're all good. We're all good out here. Look at that, the TIE Defender. Look at that, I got three of them right on our backs. It's like, no, no, there goes our boy, no. We're going to have to get out of here, make the jump to light speed. Yep, look at that, made the jump to light speed. I don't think the TIE Defenders have a light speed uh, engine on them. Look at that, oh, destroyed. Yeah, the tie defenders. Even I'm Akbar's like, yo, what the hell is this garbage? What the hell is that? I don't remember this in the original trilogy. <laughs> so glad we get Admiral Akbar in here. Yeah, these guys are like, what the hell is that nonsense? What is this garbage that the Empire's doing now? It's like, yo, this is really messed up, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's absolutely messed up. <laughs> the acting on point, of course. On point acting for this game. And look at that pixelated FMV. Look at that, look how out of focus it is. At least Admiral Akbar is in focus. So that rebellion symbol, rebellion computer. <laughs> that aura besh. We appreciate it. It's all good. There's a hidden empire that we have to go destroy. Do something. Quick, before they start making more bad Star Wars movies. <laughs> Quick, before they mess up the timeline. <laughs> oh, man. I know I'm joking, okay? Nobody get upset. I'm joking. Yeah. Look at this man looking like an episode four Luke Skywalker knockoff. I'm just saying. Man out here volunteering. Thinking like, yo, I'm going to be in the next trilogy. Tie training. Okay. Yeah, so I'll do this one last stage, and that'll be a good way to wrap things up because I don't want to spoil too much of the rest of the game because we can technically play through the entire game, just be here for a while. But I find, like, the 30-minute or so videos are usually a good, like, medium point to actually uh, make things work. So here we go. We're getting Thai training. Start using Thai fighters now to infiltrate an Imperial facility. See so yeah, how this is going to go. Again, apologies for the low volume, but YouTube with its pinging of the actual music and stuff. Okay, but we're going to use a TIE fighter now. It's TIE time. Look at that. Look at that CG, man. PlayStation 1 graphic. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to have to use this TIE fighter, navigate through this Beggar's Canyon wannabe. Whoa, look at the, whoa, what the, the dragging, man. Oh, my God. Like, I'm standing perfectly still. And look at that. And then I'm all the way on the side of the screen. It's like, what are you doing, game? I'm not trying to, like... Look at that. Like, I, I didn't even go that far. Like, and then the game automatically just pushes you that way. Look at it. I did it again. Ah. Oh my God, no. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. Whoa. This man went down. You saw that? He did that little barrel roll. This man was feeling his Star Fox for a second. Whoa, no, whoa. 
go downward. Let's go downward. Let's go upward. Let's go down. Oh, jeez. Come on. How did that hit me? I was already through that. Whoa. Can't see that. Muddy visuals. Just got real, like, muddied up right now. Here we go. Going for, now we're going faster. Supreme acceleration. Remember, we're in a TIE fighter, so we got to be going fast. Like, no shields. We're just going to gun it. Just going. We're just going to do it. We're doing it live. <laughs> That's what a TIE fighter pilot's like. Yo, the hell with this. No shields. We're doing it live. Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. The visuals, man. That pixelation is so rough, man. So tough to look at. Just, again, look at it. It's so janky. Janky with the... Whoa, what are you knocking me around, game? What are you knocking me around for? Okay, we're almost there. We're almost at the end, I think. I think we're almost at the end. Should be good soon. Look at that. Just moving me around. Oh, it just looked like it was going to go one way and then went the complete opposite. Let's go up. Look at this. Yo, I can't even see. I can hardly see my my uh, my partner here. We're almost there. Uh, okay, we made it. Yeah, this is rough, dude. This is rough as heck. My goodness, it's crazy. But that's our tie training for today. Chapter complete. Flight errors. Yeah, come on now. Half of those errors, if not like three quarters of them, are all like complete nonsense. I'm just saying. So let me, uh, okay, because we're about, you know what? Should do this last mission because it's a Y wing. All right, let's do this last mission. It's Y wing time. It's Y wing time. And we're fighting tie interceptors. We got to at least do this before we end off. We got to at least do this. I know I skipped a cutscene, but it doesn't matter. We got Y wings, son. We got Y wings. We got tie interceptors. It's about to get real Return of the Jedi in here. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. Come on, get this fool right here. What, what? How do we miss that guy? Oh, look at the boy. We called the boy in. He just came in with the assist. The left bumper assist. This is Star Wars Marvel now. About to OTG these, these, uh, these TIE interceptors. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Just destroyed the both of them with that. Getting all these fools. Yes, we're getting everybody. Everybody's catching hands. Everybody's catching Y-Wing hands. The Y-Wings had enough. The Y-Wings have had enough. Getting shot at all the time. They're heavy shields. They're slow moving. Everybody's picking on them. It's over. <laughs> oh my god, so many, so many tie interceptors. And by the way, I feel like I don't have hardly any shields with this. I'm in a Y-Wing. I'm supposed to have like double, triple health because I'm a Y-Wing. Got him there. Okay, there's a couple more. Got him. Yeah. Oh, we got another extra life. Sweet. Oh my god. Stop shooting at me. Get these fools right here. Get this fool right here. Well, we got a couple... Where... Why isn't my Y-Wing buddies shooting at these fools? Making me do all the work? Come on now. We got everybody. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yes. That's all the Y wing or all the, the tie interceptor nonsense for today. So there we go. That's going to wrap it up with this. That's a good way to wrap it up. We got Y wing action in there. We got X wings. We got B wings. We got Y wings. We got tight fighter nonsense. All this stuff. So yeah, we're moving now. Yep. Chapter complete. There you go. 80% accuracy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, so let me get to the point again because it's going to make... Yeah, okay. So let's just go to save game. Override old save data game. Yes. Then look at that. <laughs> the freaking... The, 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 the freaking... Not Tuscan, but the, the Sarlacc noise. But yeah, hold on. Let me see these options real quick. Yeah, because there was nothing as far as control settings... Yeah, look at that. Everything was like rapid fire, all this other stuff. Yeah, this was reverse, like outside control. It should have been normal. That should have been normal, but either way, not a big deal. Okay, so anyway, that's going to do it for my look 
at Star Wars Rebel Assault 2 on the PlayStation 5. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video down below in the comment section. Did you own Rebel Assault 2 back in the day on the PS1 or did you play it on PC? Tell me your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. There's a ton of videos that are Star Wars game related that I know you'll love. That being said, I will talk.